Mastering Consequence Modeling Companies that neglect consequence modeling in their emergency response plans are courting disaster. When organizations prioritize operational excellence, how do they effectively utilize consequence modeling as a critical component of their emergency preparedness and response strategies to minimize risks and ensure business continuity? When organizations prioritize operational excellence, they recognize the essential role that consequence modeling plays in their emergency preparedness and response strategies. Consequence modeling enables organizations to proactively identify, assess, and mitigate potential risks, ensuring business continuity and minimizing the impact of operational disruptions. To effectively utilize consequence modeling, organizations should integrate it into their overall risk management framework. This begins with identifying and prioritizing potential hazards and threats that could disrupt operations. This can include natural disasters, equipment failures, cyber attacks, supply chain disruptions, and other potential risks. Once these risks are identified, organizations can use consequence modeling to analyze the potential impacts of each scenario, allowing them to focus their mitigation efforts on the most critical areas. Consequence modeling involves developing a comprehensive understanding of each potential scenario, including the likelihood of occurrence, the potential severity of the impact, and the effectiveness of various mitigation strategies. This requires gathering and analyzing large amounts of data, including historical incident data, industry benchmarks, and expert opinions. By leveraging advanced analytics and simulation techniques, organizations can model the potential consequences of each scenario, identifying the most critical vulnerabilities and optimizing their emergency response strategies. To ensure the effective utilization of consequence modeling, organizations should establish a multidisciplinary team tasked with developing and maintaining the models. This team should include representatives from various departments, such as operations, maintenance, safety, and finance, ensuring that all critical perspectives are considered. The team should also engage with external stakeholders, including regulatory agencies, industry associations, and emergency responders, to ensure that the models are aligned with industry best practices and regulatory requirements. Organizations should also establish a clear governance structure to oversee the development and implementation of consequence models. This should include a steering committee responsible for setting priorities, allocating resources, and reviewing model outputs. The steering committee should also ensure that the models are regularly reviewed and updated to reflect changes in the operational environment, emerging risks, and new data. To ensure the accuracy and reliability of consequence models, organizations should invest in ongoing training and capacity building programs for their teams. This should include training on advanced analytics, simulation techniques, and risk assessment methodologies. The teams should also participate in regular exercises and drills to test their emergency response strategies and validate the outputs of the consequence models. Effective utilization of consequence modeling requires a culture of transparency, accountability, and continuous improvement. Organizations should foster an open and transparent culture that encourages the sharing of information, reporting of near misses, and identification of vulnerabilities. This enables the organization to learn from past incidents and near misses, refining their consequence models and improving their emergency response strategies. Finally, organizations should recognize that consequence modeling is not a one-time exercise, but rather an ongoing process that requires continuous updating and refining. As new data becomes available, as operational environments change, and as new risks emerge, the consequence models should be updated to reflect these changes. This ensures that the organization remains vigilant and proactive in identifying and mitigating potential risks, ensuring business continuity and minimizing the impact of operational disruptions. In conclusion, organizations that prioritize operational excellence recognize the critical role that consequence modeling plays in their emergency preparedness and response strategies. By integrating consequence modeling into their risk management frameworks, organizations can proactively identify and mitigate potential risks, ensuring business continuity and minimizing the impact of operational disruptions. Through effective governance, capacity building, and a culture of transparency and continuous improvement, organizations can unlock the full potential of consequence modeling, ensuring the resilience and sustainability of their operations.